It's Friday the 3rd of December. Welcome to the Qatar Quick Weekend Edition, brought to you in conjunction with Mahaba. And today we're coming to you from City Center Mall, which just seems to get bigger every time I come here. We're going to be taking a look around here in a few minutes, but first of all, here's a recap of last week's news. Starting with last Saturday, when Doha is named as the world's best coastal relocation destination, according to a story in the Gulf Times. Sunday and Qatar Airways bans flyers from five African countries over the new COVID variant. The five countries are Angola, Mozambique, South Africa, Zambia and Zimbabwe. On to Monday, and the Qatar Tribune say there's not a single Omicron case in Qatar. And Doha Metro extended its service hours during the Arab Cup. The new service hours will be in place between November the 30th and December the 18th. And trains will run from 6am until 3pm from Saturday to Thursday, and from 9am until 3am on Fridays. Tuesday, and Qatar updates its Covid travel and return policy. Changes came into effect from December the 1st. There are new quarantine rules for travellers from seven exceptional red list countries. And the Prime Minister lays the foundation stone for the Doha Winter Wonderland project. Located on Almaha Island, the project will be ready next year. And there's also a story that illegal residents can avail an amnesty until December the 31st, without any legal action. Wednesday and the Emir inaugurated the FIFA Arab Cup and Qatar administers over 100,000 COVID-19 booster doses. In yesterday's Qatar Tribune, there's a story on page 2 that the Qatar population dipped to 2.66 million in October. And in this morning's Qatar Tribune is the story that the MSC Virtuosa came into Doha port yesterday, marking the start of the 2021-2022 cruise ship season in Qatar. That's all for the news this week. Coming up next, we're going to be taking a look around city centre shopping mall. Come with me. Did you know that city centre shopping mall is now 20 years old? And this huge mall was the first mega mall in Qatar and is still one of the largest even today. And it's getting bigger, with a massive expansion project approaching completion, which has already seen a further 50 new retailers open here in the last year alone. I've lived in Qatar for almost 13 years now, and city centre holds a special place in my heart, as I have so many fond memories here. Yet, even though she's the oldest in her class, the management here have managed to keep her fresh, innovative and completely up to date. With many brands unique to City Centre... Hi guys, Jamie Oliver here. I've got some really exciting news. We've just opened our very first Jamie Oliver's Pizzeria in Qatar. You can find us at City Centre Market. And more coming soon. Located in the heart of West Bay, City Centre is easy to reach from almost anywhere with plenty of parking, a metro station and bus routes serving it. And with a mix of over 300 retailers, City Centre is a mall for everyone. It will have you coming back time and time again. Find all the information you need on Qatar in Mahaba's up-to-date e-guides. They're completely free of charge and can be found on their website mahaba.qa 